Hi there, my Virgo Libra. Welcome into your July reading. So today we're going to have a little quick check-in just to see what do you need to know? What are the most important messages for this rest of the month? We're already kind of halfway through. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's amazing. So today I'm recording this on the 11th. Um, and right now on the clock is 12-11. So we have a lot of 11s, a lot of 1s here. So you could be going through a lot of beginnings this month, a lot of new I'm getting new ideas and it could be definitely be related with your life purpose i'm even getting bottom of the deck was happiness i'm even getting that this life purpose it's not really we often associated with uh career and all of those things and it could definitely be but i almost getting has it's like it's not really about your career it's about you it's about who you are and who you want to be in the life that you want to have and i feel like that is the new beginning it's you really affirming yourself that this is what i want and this is what i'm gonna go get and this is what i'm going to go after and make it happen and again it could definitely be about career maybe it's about your health maybe it's about your body right maybe it's about um your heart and how you want to deal with relationships about your friendships it could be about just anything maybe even in your home i'm getting um but i really feel like you're affirming yourself this month um maybe this is already like kind of the advice over here for your month of july it's like affirm yourself look deeply into what you're looking for what you want what you most desire and know that you're going to be blessed okay uh, but I definitely feel like you could be getting some new ideas, especially some creative ones that I feel like are going to be very prosperous and wealthy. So definitely go towards them. For some of you, you could definitely be, ooh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say that for some of you, you could definitely be having some spicy time here, okay? And with this forgiveness, and we also have lighten your load, um, we have travel, well-being, maybe this is someone at a distance, but it could definitely be someone from the past, okay, so just a little heads up, but it's definitely, it's always up to you, even my 18 plus readings, they are always up to you, it's just for entertainment, okay, but I definitely feel like, um, at the very least, there could be like some rekindling of a, of a spark here, maybe this is even about uh, an old idea that is returning to you, and you're finally feeling like, you know what, yeah, this is the right time. This is the right time to do it. This is what I want to create. This is how I want to go with in my life. Um, so you could also be going back to an old job. And I did see prosperity over here and empowerment. So I definitely feel like you're, look at that finding, it kind of looks like gold. So you're surrounded by so much good luck when it comes to your career this month. And I feel like it's definitely going to be a focus for you, okay? And more than anything, I feel like you're really going to be connecting with your deepest desires and, and like your heart you're truly connected with your heart uh we also have falling into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes of life and i even get this falling into my arms i truly get it has you falling into someone's arms and like leaning on support from friends from family from uh lovers whatever the case may be but i really get these feelings like i feel like you're going to be surrounded by so um so many good people and people that truly understand you and truly want to protect you and be there for you support you and i feel like you're going to feel really loved you know and really cared for that's why i feel like uh, so far we're not really getting too much information about your love life um but i because i really feel like it's love in general you know love for your parents love for your friends love loving strangers i feel like you're finding love in all of the small little things and even loving yourself especially with this what are your garden nourishment body care tenderness rest i really feel like you're giving yourself the self-care the treatment that you need the most and you're truly connecting with your heart truly connecting with your dream life and making it happen and again i feel like you're going to have the support for you to do that all right this is beautiful very libra wow this feels like a very transformative and deep transformation, deep healing, but at the same time, deep nourishment and fulfillment. You know, I feel like it's going to be beautiful. Look at that. And we even have the Ten of freaking Cups. Holy cannoli. Especially with the Ace of Cups. And I was hearing that uh, all of a sudden I got this feeling like this is a reading for this week. Maybe it is. <laughs> Who knows? But um, it, it just means that, you know, things can be happening really, really fast. It also depends on when you're watching this. Maybe you're literally watching this in the last week of July. And it's like, uh, this is a July reading, but it's I'm watching this right at the end. It still takes, okay? It's still, it's still for you. But I definitely feel like you're having a new beginning here with your heart. Again, with the people that you're surrounded yourself with. Uh, for some of you, you could be literally getting married. And so it's like, uh, or you're pr pr participating in um, a wedding, you know, and, and 
there's just like this whole ambience around love and fulfillment and just so much joy. I really feel like there's so much joy around you with the people that you're connecting with. So I really feel like you're finding your tribe and that is the, the, the most beautiful thing ever. If you are single, there could definitely well be um, a person here that you're going to have a new beginning with, okay? So we also have here the Queen of Swords, Four of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, look at you, and the Page of Pentacles. Honey, like seriously, if you're thinking about something career-wise, starting something new, going back to an old hobby, an old, um, maybe even like an old path that you were taking but you didn't really put too much energy into it for whatever reason um i really feel like that is going to bring you so much money and prosperity uh we have ten of pentacles with a page of pentacles so definitely a lot of good stuff coming for you when it comes to that but uh, i also feel like with this queen of swords and four of cups i really feel like you're getting some sort of closure here with this forgiveness um so we were talking about that person from the past again maybe feeling a little bit tempted there with the passion um but i actually I, I feel like there could be the opportunity it's always going to be up to you but i'm not sure if you're going to indulge in it because this queen of swords she's really cold so i kind of feel like this person could be very hot for you but i feel like you're really icy for this person so in the end i feel like you're just seeing them for their truest colors and you're really finding this closure and just letting go of anything that you need to let go of when it comes to that but talking of that and i just saw 33 um let's take a look here oh holy holy cow we have ex-lover with attraction there we go let's talk about your love life what do we have over here bro holy cannoli like this break definitely didn't be good because messages are just flooding in um ex-lover temptation everything we've talked about and we have the runner which to be honest i feel like it's you i feel like this used to be them but i feel like now it's you i feel like you're really not looking for anything from them um and i just see you very like again very icy i definitely feel like this ex-lover uh still has a lot a lot of passion for you i'm not sure if it is more than that because i feel like when it comes to commitment i feel like they could still be in this runner energy so they could not really be looking for a commitment and so i feel like the temptation would be more on a sexual note so again it's always up to you i support you either way <laughs> just do it with the consciousness of this is truly what i desire okay but we have family and friends there we go i really feel like when it comes to your love life i feel like you're definitely going to be unbothered by this person maybe a little bit tempted but i feel like your focus is just going to be on family and friends and truly getting that support because you're having that okay you're having the the people the right people around you uh for you to have that support okay so what about career? What do we need to know about career over here? Ooh, my goodness. We have life purpose and twin flame. So you're definitely, uh, holy shit. You're definitely um, on the right path here. This is your spiritual path. This is your mission. This is what you came here on earth to do. And with this nostalgia, there we go. I even feel like it could have been something from childhood. Uh, or just something you haven't done in a while or you have been missing something like that and like dude that is the path for you okay that is the path that is going to bring you a lot of abundance maybe there is some confusion here like can i truly make it uh and i feel like when it comes to this other people can advise you but i feel like it's your call okay it's your choice and it should come from again your heart okay your heart is going to be so significant here um so don't be afraid to yeah break up thinking of you this is a love deck but I, actually i love using it uh has a career deck as well um and look at that we even have finances like yeah we're we're in tune <laughs> with finances here but with this breakup and thinking of you i really feel like you're thinking on, of someone else right if this was a love reading i feel like you're thinking of someone else um and i feel like that someone else is someone that you were you were connecting with in the past right so translating this into career i really feel like your heart belongs to something that you were doing in the past i don't necessarily feel like you can't do both but i feel like maybe it's too much for you at this moment and it's just like take time to think about things you can definitely you know try and do all those things we have three here uh three cups but just make sure that you're not burning yourself out because we did have here tenderness rest take care of yourself take care of your body okay and don't push it just take one step at a time i would say and you don't have to make a decision a clear-cut decision this month okay you can just think about it but think about it okay and truly think of what your heart wants and most desires for you right now 
right? But I definitely feel like you could find a lot of success here with something from the past. So to finish this up, let's get here, you know, the usual. <laughs> so your little self-care practical tools for you to indulge in this month. And then we'll also look into some fun stuff for you to do, okay? So is there anything else? I actually feel like there is. I feel like there is one more. There we go. All right. So we have nature over here. Maybe it's time for you to connect with nature. You also have vision board. There we go. It's like you have a vision. Please go towards it, okay? Please connect with your heart more than anything. Definitely journal for you to connect with it. Uh, you may need to, with this energy work and road opener, maybe doing some Reiki could be good. Who knows? Or just, you know, meditating, connecting with those um, frequencies in some meditations that really release and unblock your heart chakra, okay? Especially with all of this green, you may really need that. Um, but I definitely feel like your heart is expanding, your heart is opening up, and it's important that you connect with that, with your heart chakra, maybe even some heart chakra yoga, okay? But uh, we also have travel here, so that could be fun for you to do and indulge in. I'm even here, you may need to visit a friend. Who knows? Maybe a friend on a town next to you, because we have Explorer Town next to you. You don't have to go far. Uh, we also have art gallery, three plus three mystery cooking, so you grab three items from your fridge, Three items from your panty. From, <laughs> what? Oh my god. From your panties? No. Uh, maybe. <laughs> but three items from your um, pantry. There you go. Uh, and you just uh, kind of explore them together. You can even close your eyes, blindfold yourself, or make someone pick for you, you know? And then you just do something with it. And you try to explore your cooking skills. But we also have, I don't know if I already mentioned, art gallery and board game cafe. Okay? And so, my Libra, my Libra Scorpio, maybe you're dealing with Libra Scorpio. By the way, in terms of zodiac signs, we have Libra, um, and we have a lot of water. So maybe you have Libra Scorpio, but we also have a lot of earthy energy here. So I feel like this is you, you know, Virgo and Libra. This is about you focusing on yourself. Maybe um, a Libra Scorpio is that friend that you may need to visit, or, you know, a family member, or something like that. But, yeah. So, Virgo and Libra, this is what I have for you. I really hope this um, resonated, and it helped. Uh, I'm really glad to be back and if this video resonated at all um, just smash the like button for me and don't forget to subscribe I would really appreciate it that is the easiest way for you to support me if you want to support me any further we can get a proud rating you can join my patreon for weekly messages or you can tip me all of those links are going to be down below um, and you can also use super thanks here on YouTube okay so with that being said I love it very much I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next one bye bye